Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 5. Hole, uh, that is one of the white cliffs on tour number 5, the world links. Also hole number 5 in the south coast tournament. The video is sponsored by Gold Clash and Play Damage, so let's go. Here it's actually time to play with a power 3 ball and we do need to reach as far as possible on this fairway here as a start. But you can see how tiny it is. So if we're just gonna hit the ball great left to great right, we're definitely gonna endangering the rough there on the sides. This is one of the few holes that are actually not, uh, not few, but this is the only hole of the white cliffs that do not have any elevation adjustment here. So we're not gonna add anything, we're not gonna subtract anything, we're just gonna play it as it is. And of course, using max distance number. We do also want to use a club for the second shot that gives us distance but also topspin as much as you possible can get. And that is of course from front T for those of you that are playing there that is definitely going to be tough if you do have lower level clubs to be able to get as far as we do want here. And therefore as well we do need to have a power 3 ball. And of course, for those of you that can use a power 4, power 5 ball, it's almost that I would suggest you to do that to be able to read for the green in 2. I know it's not the, the best to maybe suggest that, but otherwise we will not be able to read for the green if we're not having luck to get Tailwind for the second shot and are playing well with overpower. And you're gonna see that now as we are gonna try to approach for the pin. If doing as our opponent is doing, going into the rough or into the sand, there is no chance, I would say it's impossible for you to reach for the green in two. So try to really focus and hit that ball perfect. So look how far we are from the pin and we are even having a club that gives us a lot of distance and now we do have topspin as well. It's uphill towards the pin, not that we're gonna add, uh, subtract anything in due to elevation, but at least when it's gonna roll, it's gonna slow down, so it's gonna be even harder to get this ball towards the green. So the thing that I would like you to do is to go with as much overpower you feel that you can control. If that would be zero, then you go with zero. If that is max, then you go with max. The reason I say that is because it's better to do like I do here, to stop on the fairway and we do have a wedge or a short iron towards the pin for an eagle, then if we risk going into the rough on the left or into the bunker on the right, and that then the eagle is gonna be way more harder than, than otherwise. And you can see our opponent has no chance to reach for the green going into a rough or into the sand as a start. Tough par 5, we will see a general birdie on this one, we will definitely not see general uh, eagles on this one in my opinion. So remember that, 0% for the drive, nothing for the second shot when you do adjust. So have that in mind, and rather lay up, have a short iron or a wedge towards the pin if you can secure the way to get your ball to the fairway. That's super important, especially when we're playing with lower level clubs. So this was hole number 5, par 5 of the White Cliffs on tour number 5, the World Links. Also a course in the South Coast Tournament, hole number 5 there. If you do like the video and the content, take your time, hit thumbs up. And also if you do want to get the text guides for the White Cliffs and the South Coast Tournament, check out patreon.com slash golfclashtommy, link in the description down below. Video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic, good luck in the South Coast Tournament.